Tennessee beats Missouri 66 to 24 at Neyland Stadium. I'm Josh Ward alongside Jimmy Himes of 99.1 The Sports Animal. Jimmy in the third quarter, it's 28-24. Missouri puts a score on the board. It looks interesting, and then all of a sudden, Tennessee from there. Tennessee took over and put as many points on the board as it wanted to until the seconds were running off the clock. What an impressive close for Tennessee. I mean, one of the big plays was that 60-some-odd yard touchdown pass to Jalen Hyatt. Yep. When that was a hit, good response. He, he hid behind, he said, the left guard, and he said they work in practice. And then Hendon Hooker got up there and said, yeah, he said in practice it worked. He said, well, I heard on the sideline somebody said, it's too easy. Uh, but what a, a big play that was. And when Tennessee got that momentum, they never gave up on it. And then they did a really a much better job of containing Brady Cook, the quarterback who beat Tennessee on a lot of runs in the first half. Uh, Josh Hypo said there weren't adjustments made. They just did a better job of executing. But once they shut Cook down and once they got that offense rolling, boy, look out. That was a very, very impressive second half. Brew McCoy was involved throughout the game, and then Dylan Sampson got involved as the game went along mm -hmm. in the second half as well. And what a spark. It, it took him two carries to take over the lead in rushing, yeah. and uh, he kind of ran away with it literally from there. He's a special running back. I mm -hmm. mean, he's explosive. Uh, he runs with really good vision. I, I'm really impressed with him. The, look, the thing that's been keeping him off the bench is he does not do real well in pass protection. Well, if he's running it, he doesn't have to worry about that, does he? So, but uh, what a sp he's going to be, I think, a really, really good running back once he picks up what he needs to do in the pass game, pass protection-wise. But uh, he was impressive. What he did today was uh, was special. Hendon Hooker's Heisman campaign, he puts up 400-plus yards again. Um, big numbers overall, obviously, yeah. with what Tennessee did. You think he had strengthened his campaign today? Absolutely. Look, Missouri went in with the number four defense in the SEC in a variety mm -hmm. of categories. Uh, they went in with the defense that, that held Georgia to 26 points, right? And then for Hooker to get, uh, what, 355 passing, 50-something rushing, he threw for three, ran for one. I thought it was an extraordinary performance by Hendon Hooker and the offense coming off that, that loss to Georgia where they struggled to uh, get to 13 points. You did mention probably one of the negatives that I'm sure they're going to look at is the struggling to contain Brady Cook for yeah. a, a period of time in that game. Uh, secondary mistakes, uh, a fourth down play that ends up in a long touchdown pass somehow. Uh, I'm sure, well, they cleaned that up in the game, and I'm sure they'll yeah. look at that afterward as well. Yeah, I'm sure they will too, and, and I, although I know Heupel said there were no adjustments made, I'm I'm sure they had to be looking at something right. about, hey, we gotta we got to stop this guy. Let's keep him in the pocket. And if he beats us, it's going to have to be throwing the football. But I, I thought the defense did pick it up after that uh, Missouri cut it to 28-24. Uh, the offense certainly got it going. Tennessee showed, showed just how good it can be. With that stretch, I mean, there are not a lot of teams in the country that Tennessee couldn't have beaten in that second half once Missouri cut it to four. Finally, South Carolina's next. Jimmy, I haven't seen anything that would change my opinion that Tennessee, as long as it plays its offensive style of football, should be fine in Columbia next week. What do you think a week out? Well, uh, late, late game, and they will be, I'm sure, riled up there in Columbia. Don't you think South Carolina is going to use that Georgia blueprint <laughs> to stop? Kind of like Missouri's blueprint Just like to Missouri, stop? Yeah. Oh, wait a minute. you got to have Georgia's players. Uh, I don't see South Carolina stopping Tennessee. I, the way they got it going against Missouri, Missouri's defense, in my opinion, is better than South Carolina's. No, look, I know you're on the road. I know that's going to be different. And it's hard to imagine Tennessee rolling up, what, 726 yards, whatever it was. Yep. But I, I don't see South Carolina slowing down this Tennessee machine. I, I think Tennessee will roll it up on the Gamecocks. Tennessee's 9-1 and one with South Carolina next. Vanderbilt after that. Hendon Hooker leading the band on senior day at Neyland Stadium. <laughs> Coverage at 99.1 thesportsanimal.com, our YouTube page, and, of course, on our airwaves, 99.1 thesportsanimal. Thank you for being with us.